like coming back to familiar surroundings to uh, it was great. So, uh, being a place I'm comfortable with, familiar with, um, it, it was comfortable for me. In terms of your workout, how do you think it went for you today? Uh, it was great. You know, great first workout. Um, you know, now I know what to expect. You know, a lot of things to work on. Um, you know, just get my shooting touch back. Great young guys. You know, they got Juan, they got Bill. You know, they can create for themselves and create for others. Um, I think it'll be a, a good fit with them. A lot of people, you know, wants to go one. You know, it's, it's a great fit for you to go number one. You know, just to be that number one guy. You know, to be the best of the best. So, definitely. Why should the Wizards draft you at number three? Why should they? <laughs> um, I feel like uh, they're getting a, a decent guy that's coming in. You know, just being down to earth, that's ready to work hard um, to do anything for the team. How do you feel, John Wall, can compliment your play style? Um, he is a pass first guard. You know, he get in into the paint and create for others. You know, and um, I definitely see him. You know, creating for me and for others. You know, to get wide open looks to go. So I think Georgetown did a terrific job of uh, preparing me. You know, not outside of basketball also. You know, uh, on the court. You know, skill wise. You know, reading the game how it is, and um, just translating that to the to the next level is key. For me. Have you reached out to any former Hoyas, or have they reached out to you during this process? Definitely, definitely. Um, you know, talk to Jeff Green, uh, Roy Hibbert, you know, Greg Monroe, the, you know, guys like that that come back, you know, work out every now and then. You know, Jeff Green put in time with me, you know, giving me the in and outs of the NBA, you know, what to expect, you know, um, just things like that. So, definitely. People compare your game to Tayshaun Prince. Do you, do you think that's true, and or is there another player that you model your game off of? Um, to me, um, I mean, people, a lot of people say that. But for me, I just... You know, play my game. I try not to be like anybody else. You know, I just feel like um, if I just go out there and play my game, you know, take care of yourself. Uh, definitely, you know, I have a fan base here. Um, you know, I'm very comfortable here. Um, you know, all my games played in this facility, so I'm used to the to the environment and things like that. So I just need to get familiar with the NBA style. Um, you know, making the transition from college to the NBA. Um, you know, getting up a lot of shots, uh, getting stronger. Um, you know, just working on my on a lot of aspects of my game. So. Are you planning on putting any more weight on, or do you think you're at the ideal weight for? Um, I'm definitely putting on more weight. You know, I just turned 20 not too long ago, so I'm definitely getting to my body. So I'm focused on, you know, making an impact. Uh, coming to any team that I go to, and make a huge impact when I first get there. Um, you know, using my versatility when I first get there to help the team win. You know, that's my main focus. Definitely was preparing for this workout. Um, you know, worked on a lot of the drills. I uh, worked on a lot of my shooting and balling, so I was prepared. Are you working with a strength coach or a shooting coach or any, any of those? Uh, I am working with a trainer right now um, that's familiar with a lot of workouts uh, that is going to happen in you know, NBA. So. What type of things are you working on specifically? Um, a lot of ball handling uh, drills, uh, a lot of spot shooting, a lot of pick and roll actions. Getting that person to rebound and push up the floor and look for plays. Um, just that high motor guy. So. Dave Falk had some really critical comments to have of John Wall and the Wizards organization. Are you aware of those? Did you happen to have any conversations with him, and how did that factor into your, David Falk, the agent? How did uh, that yeah. factor into your decision of him being your representative? Uh, definitely, you know, me and him communicate very well. Um, he lets me know, you know, everything, um, the in and out with, uh, you know, the draft and things how it works and things like that. So we definitely have a communication to him. Uh, I mean, um, you know, I played at Georgetown. You know, that's something that we had to do, um, whether that's against you know bigger guys or quicker guys. You know, you know, I was able to hold my own. You know, in the post this year when I played at Georgetown. So. Out of high school, going to the college, I know you were kind of under the radar, and then maybe it's been a whirlwind two years for you, but now going to the next level, you're not so much under the radar. So is it different for you this time during this process? Uh, I mean, no, not really. Um, I mean, the only different thing is is that people know. But for me, I'm still the underrated kid, you know, that's going to continue to work hard no matter what. So. I mean, everything has changed. You know, it's not college anymore. You know, this is a profession. You, know, you got to take everything seriously. And, um, you know, it's a business now. So everything is, you know, 100%. What excites you about being in the NBA? Uh, just being there, you know. Uh, just having that next level, playing against everybody that's great. So it's definitely exciting. Healthy team in your addition next year. Do you think the Wizards are a playoff team? Definitely. definitely. I think they're they're going the way up. So. All right.